Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can use an escape key, a shortcut for the iPad even if you have a keyboard that doesn't have the escape key. Here for example I have the Magic Keyboard but this is the old one because the new Magic Keyboard with the new M4 iPad Pro gets an escape key. Here for example this one, I will just remove this here very fast, we don't have an escape key here on the old Magic Keyboard. Or if you have another keyboard that doesn't have an escape and you're wondering how can you use escape here on an iPad. I will show you now how this works. When I did my research to figure this out, there was actually a shortcut mentioned in many, many articles. Command and dot. I don't know how you call this in English, but we call this dot. So command and dot, and that is actually universal, and you can use this in MacBooks and even on the iPad. But unfortunately, since iOS 17 and even on my MacBook Pro, this shortcut doesn't work anymore. The reason why I tell you this is maybe in the future they will bring this back because I was reading that this is one of the oldest shortcuts that they had, even from back in the times. So maybe we will get this back. I don't know. But the other solution that we have is that we change one of our modifier keys. So you come in here to the settings and then here under settings you go to general you scroll down until you find here keyboard and then here on the keyboard you find the hardware keyboard and then here on the hardware keyboard here on the bottom you will you will find the modifier keys be aware if i detach my ipad from a magic keyboard then modifiers are gone so i have to actually attach it or connect my bluetooth keyboard and now i can go in here to modifier keys and we will change the top one caps lock key yes the caps lock is basically redundant we can already do this just by caps so we can use the caps lock here and change it to escape and i worked now with this for a couple of weeks and i have to say this works very well because it's a very good position and now you can use escape here on your iPad you're welcome I hope the shortcut comes back because then you don't have to change anything but the shortcut doesn't work anymore and this is how you can use an escape key and one more thing the iPad is designed that you don't really need an escape for the most incidents but sometimes we just need it even if you just try and want to play something or do something that has an escape or for example if you're a writer and you're on a word document and you always see the suggestions you can basically hit escape and then it's going over without using your finger or your mouse and whatever. I hope you learned something. I'm Daniel. This is a channel all about DaVinci Resolve. It's a filmmaking software on the iPad and iPad in general. That's why I make those kind of videos. And I hope you have a nice day. If you like this one, hit like, subscribe. Dingle dingle the bam bang gong. We see us in the next video. Bye.